Hello everyone, welcome to what will be a let's play of the Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. Uh, I have done the Sims 2 Legacy Challenge, the useless legacy as we call them. Uh, it's been uploaded to YouTube, 93 episodes. Uh, this will be another Legacy Challenge uh, for the Sims 3, obviously. This is the neighborhood I have chosen to do it in. It's called Rook Island, as far as I remember. I'm just double check. Yep, Rook Island. Probably gonna remember to link that in the description if you are curious. It's a totally empty island, and that's part of my plan. Uh, I find it pretty beautiful, um, pretty standard. Uh, lots of open spaces here. My plan is basically that I'm also gonna force myself to have a say on what buildings show up here. Um, I have bought a bunch of, like, not bought, I have downloaded a bunch of those rabbit hole markers, as you call them, or rabbit hole rugs, which means that I can either place a door or a rug to simulate, for example, the business building in The Sims 3. Um, this will be so I can create uh, an entire island here uh, to be basically my legacy island. I think that sounds like a pretty cool idea. Uh, the lot I will be playing on is this lot over here, 64 times 64. The reason it turned out to care is because I could find no other places to place a 64 lot. It had to be by the water somewhere. As you see here right now, there's like there's no possibilities. The island is not big enough for that, uh, which is sad. And this island is also, by the way, it's small enough to reduce lag. That's also another reason why I chose. I had high hopes for having it over here, but it did not work. Anyways, legacy challenge. Basically, uh, start out with a sim. Uh, play that sim's life as you normally would. No cheats, no hacks, no whatever. Marry, have kids, do that for 10 generations, and try to be as diverse as possible. Without any further ado, let's create our founder. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking for here at all. Uh, also, by the way, I thought I was gonna do... Okay, it seems like I've been able to do it that way. Which would be nice. Uh, I wanted so much to be able to do out the, the Sims 2. Which was to add expansion packs and stock packs uh, per generation. So that we could avoid having all packs from the start. Because that gets kind of cluttered. And here we can concentrate a bit like per generation. Like for example, this would be the base generation. Get things started. Um, then expand a bit. Doing it randomly, like I did The Sims 2 as well, like a random list generator, uh, which I think will be fun. Um, I think since we started with a man last time, uh, whose name was kinda useless, we're gonna do a woman. Uh, we're not gonna do a matriarchy, I have only determined one thing so far, which is a uh, legacy challenge, and it's going to be a challenge where I decide of the air, and, and, and yes, it's a pun. So just kill me if you want to. Um, I wanted to do a challenge based on airs because it's you know they're gonna be an hair. <laughs> they're gonna like air, air. You get it? <laughs> I'm so funny. Basically, I decided to do elven airs and that the elven airs would have to go through the generations. All heirs of the 10 generations would have to have the elven heirs. So I'm gonna do that challenge. Um, other than that, I don't have any preference whatsoever for an heir. Uh, so yeah. I uh, think I'm gonna do it a bit like last time. Uh, again, I have not fought this through at all what kind of founder I would like to have. But I'm thinking, the only thing I would be thinking is a woman, medium skin, so we save all heirs uh, of that behave, you know, have all the... Oh, that's kind of pretty. So we have all of the bases here. We can go super dark, we can go super light. I don't have a preference at all. Um, that's actually kind of pretty, but that was a male hair style I thought. Uh, I'm going to add in more mods eventually. I thought I had put over the mods from my last game, but apparently I had not. Which means that it'll be, this will be pretty vanilla. It'll be a pretty base game. Which, more than anything, I guess will be cute. So, I don't mind at all. Uh, I'm gonna try to... Ooh, there we go, we can go like to the crumble bottom. I'm gonna try to... Uh, I had something brilliant I was gonna say. 
I'm gonna try to keep it uh, in general as mod free as possible. Uh, but when it comes to hair and cosmetics and clothes, I will go full on bananas. And of course, also since it's, this is the founder, I will try to make her look as unique as possible because I like unique sims and it's, you know, eventually the sims that will be born into the generations will be pretty vanilla looking as they feature, um, their features are set from like a predetermined face type. So I don't think there's like 12 of them or there might be more, I don't remember. But we will, um, we'll get in, into it eventually. Maybe I'll download some extra faces that, uh, that are... NPCs can have because you can only marry NPCs. You cannot marry um, Sims that you have created yourselves, and I don't think you can marry kids of the Sims you created yourselves. So it'll be interesting. I think I'm gonna go for this one actually. Uh, let's create a style on it to make it look cooler. I want her to have a red theme going for some reason. That's just what spoke to me right now. And of course, that's pretty easy to do in this game, really. Red and gold sounds beautiful, if you ask me. Okay, that is not beautiful, but I'm gonna go with it. And also gonna mess about with the hair color a bit because I like doing that. Um, oh, that's actually kind of pretty. It's almost a bit too. I don't know. Let's try to base things around that. We're going to do slightly darker highlights for the roots being, of course, dark and the tips being... Ooh, ooh. It looks pretty on her, but I thought it was going to look pretty on anybody else. But let's, sure, let's keep it this way. <laughs> okay, just a test. Does it look good in this version? Okay, it looks okay. Normally don't have anything for redheads. Can you call this a redhead? I don't know. Uh, actually, I kind of like the outfit here. We're going to change things, of course. Like face profile. I want it to be a bit more powerful. That's what I like. Powerful profile. Uh, head lift. I don't have no preference head lift face. Hi. Share a bit up. You know, again, all of these things are going to disappear uh, with the generations. And hopefully I'll make it 10 generations. I didn't do Sims 2. Very proud of it. As it takes some dedication. It's going to take a long time before this finishes. If you're looking for a quick playthrough of this, look elsewhere. Because I am not going to make a quick playthrough of a Legacy Challenge. It's going to take time, it's going to take dedication, it's going to take maybe breaks once in a while for me where I don't play for a month. Um, but I swear I will try my best to finish it. I really will. And I'm just going to make a face right now that's like close to what I would consider to be beautiful of this girl, which could be a lot, but uh, yeah, just. Sorry if uh, you guys lose me there for a few seconds. Let's see, can I? Yeah, there we go. Let's... So beautiful, I'm right. I've done this a thousand times before. Let's have her look a bit lacy. Actually, let's give her pretty bright. No, dark. I apparently she did something a bit bright. That was a bit too much. Uh, no. You know what? Let's do completely gray eyes. Can be beautiful. I have gray gray eyes, and they're super beautiful. Now, actually, you know, I like a wider nose on you, so we're gonna keep that going. Where are some good white noses? That one is white-ish. What if we make it wider and not as long? It's a unique nose. You can't say anything else. It's unique. Uniquely beautiful. Lips, we're gonna give you plump, wide, nope, we're gonna give you... Oof. Uh, sure. Can we like... There we go. Thickness. <laughs> She's actually adorable. I wouldn't date her because of obvious reasons, but... Uh... Let's see here. Oh, we don't have enough makeup. I'm so used to having like super fancy makeup. But right now we don't. So we're gonna go pretty basic here. I guess the makeup is gonna be a bit more exciting starting from next generation once we're, you know, into this a bit. I put makeup on everyone, including guys, in this game, so I guess we're prepared. Yep, looks basic and pretty. Uh, let's 
continue on with the color theme. So, I have no idea what personality this lady will have. I'll do... I'll be actually very fair, and I'll just randomize uh, three times to get to the... Um, to get to the... result of her personality. Um, by the way, just a fair warning already. When I do um, randomize things, when I push that uh, button to randomize for an example traits, I always do it three times. So it's not because I'm cheating and I'm not happy with the first result. It's just a thing I have with always do it three times. I'm not really sure why. I'm sorry, but get used to it. It's not going to change. Let's... You know what? I did not like that top. I did not. Uh, too basic, too slutty. She's a classy lady with elven airs. Well, it's the base game. They feature pretty boring clothes, to be quite, quite honest. So it's not like I'm very surprised by this. But let's change this to something red. Not that strong. Deep red, sure. And then this to something yellow. I'm not really sure why these are like the family colors, but they are. And I've watched enough like reality shows about deciding that you should never go too matchy matchy, but I will go way matchy matchy. That's some ordinary pants. If you have slept boots on, you are not gonna wear the boots. You're living on a beautiful island. Wear some flip flops. Glasses, do I want that? No, but earrings definitely. We gotta show no no no, we gotta show off those beautiful um, Ooh, yes, round earrings. Love it. They can be black. Hmm, socks? Ooh, god, that's ugly. I hate it, and I love it at the same time. Well, I think that's it for her everyday wear. So say hello to... Ooh, we haven't given her a name! Oh boy. Um, last names are easier to go with first. So last time we had um, the useless legacy. Who are we going to have this time? Uh, I don't think I'm going to go with a name again, or like a, a description again. I think I'm going to go with something completely random, really. Makstirenslauza? I cut out too long. I don't know where I got that from. It sounds like, is that an athlete? Like a ski hop jumper or something? Um, what about Mac? Why am I going with Mac? Okay, anyway, but this girl, this girl, well, not Eve. Okay, no, this girl looks like a Marjorie, so she's gonna be Marjorie. Marjorie Mac. Marjorie Poyo. Marjorie El Poyo doesn't mean like the chicken or something. Marjorie Chicken. McChicken Nuggets. McChicken Nug. Mac Chick Nuggets. Marjorie Chicken Nugget. I don't know. Marjorie. Chicken, chicken nuggets. There we go. We have a mar Ooh, I forgot to change her body. But anyway, this is Marjorie Chicken Nuggets. And <laughs> it's going to take some time to. It's, it's pronounced Chicken Nuggets. It's just that it's um, written Chicken Nuggets. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. We have to, like, hyphenate it. No. Wait, no. That doesn't mean it's not legal. Come on, Norwegian keyboard, do the thing. There we go, chicken nuggets. Let's do it twice. No, can we do it the opposite way? <laughs> I'm sorry, this takes way too long. There we go. <laughs> Marjorie, chicken nugget. Or chicken nuggets. It's just pronounced differently. She's from France or something. Uh, okay, so... so we spent like five minutes deciding on her name. But she's beautiful though. I like her. Gonna sh give all of those elven airs to everyone. Uh, let's see here. She's gonna be quite normal. No, she actually fit being skinny. I don't... 
I'm not doing like body shaming her right now, but she actually really did fit being skinny and not muscular. Let's reduce her boobs a bit then, so we could look kind of normal. It can be a bit muscular though, she's well trained apparently. Beautiful. Okay, this is what I hate about The Sims 3 though, you can go through so many formal options and stuff, so I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah. Since it's the everyday outfit that they wear the most, I'm just gonna go for something that looks like it fits them, which was definitely not that dress, definitely not that one. Oh boy, that's short. Ooh, and it's a lace thing. Nope. Why are there so many short dresses here? Marjorie is not a slut. Not, it, you're not slutty if you wear short dresses, by the way. Oh, actually, green fit you really well. Maybe she's gonna have green instead. Let's see here. Yep, and some beautiful sandals. And once again, you're on the you're at the sea, you know. That that's guy. good enough swim sleepwear. That's. Good enough. Yeah, that's actually really yeah. cute athletic wear too. How much are they gonna go with that? The swimwear. You are not wearing sunglasses, lady. I wanna see your beautiful face. Where can I see your beautiful face? There we go. What is this? I never quite. Oh. Uh... I never got what is this. Well, like, what is this? I don't know. Uh huh. No. Shoe thingy. There we go. You're gonna wear. Ooh, pretty. She's so skinny though. But whatever. Let's see what our. Uh, every... I know this. Uh, yeah. By the way, I I have two Sims games on my computer right now. This is the Steam version. I have the Origins version too. I don't want to talk about how much money I spent on the Sims, but yes. Let's find out her traits. So three times. She's ambitious. She's charismatic. And I'm afraid I just turned off my microphone for a few seconds there, hopefully not. She is a mooch, see if she's erotic, and she's a technophobe. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the business thing first. It's the easiest way to make money in the beginning, if you ask me. So she's gonna want to be the CEO of a mega corporation. So, the Salada Chicken Nuggets family, Mika. you are ready to rock and roll. Oh, maybe, oh wait, what? Oh. Right, you have to like make a few things on it first, don't we? No, wait. We do like this, and then then back, move in household. There we go. Well, you have like three thousand to start with. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do something. Since create new post, I don't want to create a new post. Oh, I logged in for once. Stop it! I don't want this. Get away. Well. Yes, freak out, because that's definitely what I would have done too in the beginning of this. Uh, anyway, oh, we start with some fish spawners pretty close, that's pretty cute. So, this is our legacy lot. Take a look at it, Marjorie. Your entire family, for ten generations at least, maybe I'll play some more. Since The Sims 3 is my favorite game to play. Um, it's gonna own this entire island and populate this entire island, creepily enough. Creepily enough indeed. Let's knowledge. I don't wanna... No, I don't want to... Sure, let's accept the gifts. No, I don't want to. Stop it! Ugh, annoying. Um, what I was gonna do, super, super quickly, uh, before we build anything in town, is just that I want to get her a job as quick as possible. I'm figuring out that the office building will fit really greatly in here at 40 Forest Drive. Let's see, it's a visitor's allowed place. And then... Before I bother building a whole lot more on this place, I'm just gonna place... I'm gonna build, you know, an office building properly later on. It's just for now. Oh, I don't have them installed, do I? Okay, uh, then we're just gonna place a corporate tower here in the meantime. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a more proper building there eventually. Just for now. Trust me. I might be doing that uh, when not watch or... It's not like you're gonna watch me do that though, but still. I'm gonna show you before and after, I suppose. So, Marjorie, go and get yourself a job while I think about. Wait, how do we have so much money? That doesn't sound right. Does that sound right to you? Am I supposed to have 8,308 simoleons? Oh, I don't think so. Ooh, let's take a look at the options, by the way. Because those will always be like super super weird. Um, enable aging, yes. Wife's time spent is normal. Let's see here. Enable store progression, yes. So I guess this is actually okay. Isn't it? Yep. 
Beautiful. Okay, let's see here what we can buy first. And we might also have to level some land. Uh, the question is, though, how am I going to build a house there? I have no idea. Um, but that's for later. Right now, I just want a place that we can actually live on, and that will be this place. And per tradition, we are just going to sleep outside in the open. We're going to get a comfortable double bed, because sleeping is important. And the Lexington is made from the lightest, the lightest down, the softest cotton, and other incredibly comfortable things. The Lexington also still manages to replicate all the lumps and bumps of a true colonial bed. Perfect for history buffs with strong, healthy bucks. <laughs> Sounds like you. We're not even gonna bother deciding if anything else or more of this. Right, we're gonna need at least like a few walls like this so that nobody disturbs you when you go potty or when you go shower. Did I just say go potty? What am I, a suburban mom? Apparently. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get a shower. I. Oh, this is so expensive. Let's, let's go for a cheaper shower. I know you don't like the factory, but. Care face, you know? Uh, cheapest fridge. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap. Fine, you'll get a sink. Hmm, this looks pretty nice. We got everything we need for... Uh, you're a technophobe, though, so you need something to humor yourself with. How about you learn how to paint? And occasionally stargaze? Okay, but I'm like I'm afraid I bought for too much right now. The lot was big enough to be. Ooh, who's this? Oh, it's your boss, Lola. Are you, are you talking to her on the phone immediately, or go get her, Marjorie? I like that. Lajubi Gabra Lapbop. Okay, so I'm actually gonna call an episode here already. Um, <laughs> Marjorie Chicken Nuggets just joined a business career, indeed. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna call it an episode here already. Uh, the reason being that I'm gonna place a lot or something for her to get to know people on, or make it. Uh, maybe I should just change this immediately. Nah, we're gonna wait a bit. But I'm gonna make at least a park or something where she can meet people. Because she has to work on getting to know that future husband of hers. She has to have a husband. So, I've been a gamer. Thank you for joining me for this Let's Play of The Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. The Chicken Nuggets family will be back in the next episode. Toodaloo!